welcome to my YouTube channel, All Summary Channel. Today, we're diving into the remarkable world of Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr. This is a book that weaves together five distinct stories, spanning centuries and continents, yet all centered around a single, mysterious ancient text. It's a journey through time, from the fall of Constantinople to a futuristic space mission, offering readers an intricate tapestry of human resilience, imagination, and the power of storytelling. If you're a fan of complex narratives and vivid characters, this book will absolutely captivate you. In this video, I'll break down the key themes, explore the lives of the main characters, and discuss how Dor masterfully blends history, science fiction, and literary fiction into a single, cohesive narrative. Whether you've read the book or you're just curious about it, stick around as we explore why Cloud Cuckoo Land is not just a novel, but an experience that reflects the boundless possibilities of human creativity. Let's get started. For the beginning, here are the important people in the Cloud Cuckoo Land. The main actors in Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr are individuals from different time periods and locations, all of whom are connected by the ancient manuscript Cloud Cuckoo Land. Anna, a young girl living in Constantinople in the 15th century, just before the city is taken by the Ottoman Empire, she discovers the ancient manuscript of Cloud Cuckoo Land and seeks an escape from her difficult life. Omir a boy from a rural village outside of Constantinople, born with a cleft palate. He is drafted into the Ottoman army as it prepares to siege Constantinople, and his path crosses with Anna's in the chaos of war. Zaino Ninis, an elderly man living in the small town of Lakeport, Idaho, in the 21st century, a veteran and self-taught scholar of Greek. Zaino translates the ancient Cloud Cuckoo Land text, and teaches a group of children to perform a play based on it, in the town's library. Seymour Stuhlman, a troubled teenager from Lakeport, Idaho, in the present day, struggling with sensory processing issues and eco-anxiety, Seymour becomes radicalized and plots a violent attack on the library where Zeno is staging his play. Constance, a girl living aboard a futuristic spaceship called the Argos in the 22nd century. The Argos is on a mission to colonize a distant planet after Earth becomes uninhabitable. Constance discovers the ancient Cloud Cuckoo Land manuscript while seeking meaning and connection in her isolated existence. These five characters' lives and stories are interwoven, with the ancient Greek text Cloud Cuckoo Land serving as a common thread that ties their experiences together across time and space. We are talking about the novel. In the beginning, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr is an ambitious, 
multi-layered novel that interweaves the lives of five characters across different times and places. These stories are connected by an ancient Greek text, a fictional comedy titled Cloud Cuckoo Land by Diogenes. Through these characters, the novel explores themes of survival, resilience, and the enduring power of stories across generations. Anna's Story, Constantinople, 1453, Anna, a young orphan girl living in Constantinople, is living at the end of the Byzantine Empire. She spends her days doing needlework and trying to learn to read. One day, she stumbles upon a hidden manuscript in an abandoned monastery. This manuscript is a fragment of Cloud Cuckoo Land, which becomes her escape from the harshness of her world as Constantinople is besieged by the Ottoman Empire. Omer's Story, The Ottoman Army, 1453. Omir, a village boy born with a cleft palate, is shunned by his community, but is deeply connected to his oxen in the land. Drafted into the Ottoman army as they prepare to siege Constantinople, Omer's path crosses with Anna's as they, each struggle to survive amid the violence and destruction surrounding them. Despite their different backgrounds, the two share a deep longing for something beyond the war-torn world they inhabit. Zeno's story, Lakeport, Idaho, 2020s. In the small town of Lakeport, Idaho, Zeno Ninnis is an elderly man who has led a quiet life. He's an ex-soldier and amateur scholar who, after years of learning Greek, translates the ancient Cloud Cuckoo Land text. In his later years, he dedicates himself to teaching children about the play and its message. Zeno's story takes place largely in a public library, where he guides a group of children through a theatrical adaptation of the ancient text. Samer's story, Lakeport, Idaho, 2020s. Seymour, a troubled teenage boy who struggles with sensory processing issues, feels disconnected from the world and is consumed by a growing eco-anxiety. He becomes radicalized by environmental destruction and plans to commit an act of violence by bombing the Lakeport Library. Samer's story is intricately tied to Zeno's as the two find themselves in the same place at a critical moment, with the library serving as the center of their lives. Constance's story, Argos, the future. In the 22nd century, Constance is aboard a generational spaceship called the Argos, which is on a mission to colonize a distant planet after Earth has become uninhabitable. Her life is one of isolation, surrounded by technology, but she clings to the Cloud Cuckoo Land text as a way to connect to the past. As Constance navigates the challenges of her journey through space, the ancient manuscript offers her solace and a sense of hope. The fictional text Cloud Cuckoo Land is a humorous, allegorical story about a shepherd who longs to escape his mundane life and reach a utopian paradise in the sky where people are free from suffering. This manuscript becomes a symbol of the character's yearning for something better, a world beyond war, ecological destruction, and personal hardship. Throughout the novel, each character interprets the story in their own way, finding meaning and comfort in its words. <laughs> As the Ottoman army lays siege to Constantinople, Anna and Omer's lives intersect in a fateful encounter. Despite being on opposite sides of the conflict, their shared humanity and mutual desire for escape lead to a brief but powerful connection. Both characters represent the resilience of the human spirit amid the devastation of war, and their bond serves as a testament to the importance of empathy. Zeno's journey through life is marked by a sense of longing and loss, especially for a fellow soldier he loved during his time in the Korean War. His translation of Cloud Cuckoo Land becomes a life's work, a way to make sense of his experiences and pass something meaningful on to the next generation. 
His dedication to the library and to teaching the children reflects his belief in the power of knowledge and stories to shape the future. Samer's internal struggle with the destruction of nature and his isolation from society lead him down a dark path. However, as he prepares to carry out his violent act, his encounter with the library and Zeno's play forces him to confront the consequences of his actions. Samer's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of extremism but also one of potential redemption through human connection. Aboard the Argos, Constance uncovers shocking truths about her mission and the history of the Earth. The Cloud Cuckoo Land manuscript becomes her guide as she navigates the vast, lonely expanse of space. Her story is one of survival and curiosity, mirroring the other characters' quest for understanding and belonging across vastly different settings. Throughout the novel, the library in Lakeport becomes a central symbol. It represents not just a repository of knowledge, but a place where communities come together, where stories from different eras and cultures intersect, and where future generations can learn from the past. The novel portrays the library as a refuge for characters like Zeno and the children, a place where ideas flourish and history is preserved. Although the characters are separated by centuries in different worlds, their lives are linked through the shared story of Cloud Cuckoo Land. Each character, in their own time and way, finds strength, hope, or wisdom in the ancient text, demonstrating how literature can transcend time and place. The novel is a celebration of the power of storytelling to connect people across generations. The novel touches heavily on environmental themes, especially through Samer's storyline and the futuristic setting of Constance's space journey. Dor explores the fragility of the earth and the impact of human activities on the environment. However, despite the bleakness of ecological collapse, the novel also offers hope through its depiction of human resilience the possibility of change, and the enduring importance of imagination and creativity. Cloud Cuckoo Land ultimately celebrates the timeless nature of storytelling. It shows how stories can offer solace in times of hardship, foster empathy, and bridge gaps between individuals across time and space. Anthony Darr's novel is a profound meditation on the ways in which literature and history shape our lives, offering hope, wisdom, and a reminder that, even in a chaotic and uncertain world, stories are what make us human. As we wrap up our journey through Cloud Cuckoo Land, it's clear that Anthony Dyer's novel is more than just a collection of stories, it's a profound meditation on the resilience of the human spirit, the power of storytelling, and our deep connection to the world around us. Whether we're with Anna in Constantinople or Constance in the distant future, the novel shows us that stories have the power to transcend time and space, offering hope in even the darkest times. Thank you all for joining me today to explore this beautiful, intricate novel. I appreciate your time and your thoughts, and I hope this discussion inspires you to look for the hidden connections in your own life, just as Dyer's characters did. See you next time.